Welcome, Ralph fans, to another Frog and Flange video. It is Thursday, July 30th, and we are at CNR's Paris Junction after spending the morning filming at the Guelph Junction Railway. We will see local CN 580 arriving from Brantford, Ontario, with a manifest train which it will set off on one of the four north service tracks immediately west of the junction. Each track can handle freight strings of around a thousand meters long. In this westward view, the north service tracks can be seen in the distance to the right of the main, and also the switch in the foreground already lined for CN 580's diversion. The stub of the long ago removed Y can be seen on the right. CN 580 pulls hard approaching the junction, then coasts into the service track, which is only just long enough for his train. CN 580's brakeman is at the rear of the train to ensure that it is clear of the main. Radio chatter made it clear that this possibility was a concern, but that the switch had already normalized back to the main. So close was it that the engineer was concerned that if he tried to pull ahead at all, that his slack might run out and knock down the signal on the main once again at the rear of the train. While CN 580 dealt with this risk, the dispatcher is attempting to assure that the fast approaching priority intermodal CN 148 is not held up by 580's movements. CN 148 is a quality service intermodal running daily from Chicago to Montreal. We see these very frequently along CN's Dundas and Halton subs in southern Ontario. What we do not encounter frequently on CN 148 trains is the impressive six loco power group seen today. Was this an exciting catch? You bet. Following the passage of CN 148, CN 580 gets lights to leave the service track and pulls back onto the main. CN 580 then has to wait a few moments to obtain lights at the junction before returning east to Brantford. Curiously, CN 580 is returning back east with a slightly different lash up than it had arrived with. It arrived with Southern Ontario Railways 2081, but departed east with leased unit 2277. I suspect that this might be a power move from SOR's switching operation at the south end of CN's Hagersville sub at Lake Erie, where several major industrial customers of CN are located. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get alerts when new videos are published.